What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. I'm at 2,000 subscribers now and I've got a really successful video that got over 500,000 views and it's still going up and it's just crazy. I still can't believe it and all the uploads that I've uploaded since then have got thousands of views as well and it's just insane. I can't believe it. I'm so grateful. It's the best thing ever. I am going to still be doing the item shop change every night if there's anything new on. Also, I'm still going to carry on with the top 10 worst and best lists. And this is sort of a new type of video, so it's going to be on, like, those three categories. But yeah, thank you all for the support, and it's just amazing. So, let's get into the video. So, the Omen character came to Fortnite last night. I made a video on the outfit showing his back bling and showing dances on that character. And it's pretty late, so I went to bed. So I've woke up this morning, and there's a new loading screen of him. I don't know if this is, like, the week 9 loading screen, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a picture from Fortnite. I don't think it's one of the loading screens. Now, as soon as I saw this picture, you can just see him looking down at his pickaxe like he's controlling something. And you see that little orb there inside the pickaxe. Well, I thought I'd Google it and see what it actually is. Like, I've seen it before on TV, but I don't know what the name of it was. So, I thought I'd Google it, find out about it. And I came up with some stuff. So, I was pretty sure it was some kind of, like, time travel ball or something where you can see the future. And then I came across something called a Stargate Event Horizon Portal. So I thought I'd click on it, find out what that exactly is. And this is what it said. It says, an entrance and exit point of an object's journey through the Stargate, where matter is disintegrated and then reintegrated. The event horizon appears to be a bright, a bright iridescent pool of water, standing completely vertical within the ring of an active Stargate. I don't completely understand that, like... So I don't completely understand that, but what I'm getting from that is that this portal or whatever has to be in between a Stargate, whatever that may be. But is his pickaxe a Stargate? Because as you can see, there is a portal, like, in between it. So his pickaxe could be the Stargate, and that is the portal in between. But looking at this here, this looks like it's a giant, like, thing you can walk through. And looking at his pickaxe, it looks like he can't really go through that. So we're going to carry on reading what this says here. It says the Stargate is smart enough that it attempts to determine whether or not an object is attempting to pass through a connected wormhole. Based on way in which pressure is applied to the event horizon, a person or object sent through will feel no resistance, but if the gate is, say, activated underwater, it will not flood water through the wormhole, so only the person travels through it. An object or body part can also be extended through the event horizon and then pulled back, so he could literally just put his arm through and pull someone out, I'm not sure, at which point it will instantly rematerialize, re holding one's arm inside the event horizon of the receiving Stargate. Having not yet come all the way through the wormhole, however, will temporarily prevent both connected Stargates from shutting down. So this was the first piece of information like I searched up because I did look at his pickaxe and it looks like some like sort of magic ball, time travel ball, and then I found out about this like this Stargate thing, like, you can pass through it, but I don't know if you can, like, pass through that, because it looks really small, unless, like, it expands and it goes bigger, but then I carried on, like, trying to figure out what it was, and then the next possibility was that it could be a magic crystal ball that tells the future. So, as you can see here, it says, the art of process of seeing is known as scrying, whereby images are claimed to be seen in crystals, much like his pickaxe, if he can, like, see into it and see what people are doing. Or other media such as water and are interpret or are interpreted are interpreted are interpreted are interpreted as meaningful information. The information gleaned is then is used to make important decisions in one's life. When the technique of scrying is used with crystals or any transparent body, it is known as crystal manset or crystal glazing. So is that what the omen character is doing? Is he looking down on everyone in Fortnite? To be honest, I sort of think like he is looking at it, like he's looking at people, he's actually looking into the ball to see what's going on. Can he tell the future? Is he a time traveller? But yeah, what's interesting as well is the week 8 loading screen has been leaked, and this is it right here. And it shows the visitor actually launching, or trying to stop launching a rocket. I don't know, it's one of the two. So then where does the omen fit into all this? Is the visitor trying to destroy the map? And is the Omen actually a good character who's actually trying to stop him? Or is the Omen the one who sent the Visitor down there in the first place? And is he controlling him by some sort? Because if you look at the picture of the Omen and the way his arms are positioned and his hands, it looks pretty much the same way as the Visitor right here while he's launching the rocket or some sort. If he is controlling him, then I'm pretty sure he's definitely launching that rocket. 
because no one else has launched it so he wouldn't be like trying to stop it from launching so maybe the visitor is getting controlled by the omen through that ball there's lots of possibilities guys on what's going on it's so exciting the fortnite storyline of season four like a lot of big things are going to happen we're slowly coming to the end of the season so Bigger things will happen towards the end, and it will make it more clear of what is actually going on. If we look at the whole loading screens that have been out so far. So the week one loading screen looks like there's some human character falling in love with an alien character, and it looks like they're on a movie set filming a movie, and a meteor has gone off in the background for real. And this is called Quiet on the Set, The Monster of Moister, Scene 23, Take 31. Director's notes, he was finally puckering up when it all came crashing down. Then we move on to week two, and it's called, At last, I am free. I will reclaim my power, I will gather my allies, I will have my vengeance. And that is the Omega character, who was trapped in the prison. And he's broke out because the meteors, they've destroyed it, and he's free. So then we go to week three, and this one's called A Looming Threat. Obviously, the threat is Omega. Once again, our heroes must unite and heed the call to action. So this is all the movie set. This is all the movie set. This isn't going on for real. This is all the movie set. The week four loading screen is called Retribution. I will overpower. I will prevail. I will reign. And that's Omega with his army. So we get to week five. That one's called Showdown. In the ultimate battle of good versus evil, who will prevail? And that shows the superheroes versus the supervillains. As we move to week six, that's called That's a Wrap. Director's notes, what a crazy shoot. Those meteors that crashed down sure gave us a lot of extra free production value. Glad we survived it. So that clearly means that the meteors weren't planned. That actually happened in the background as they were filming the movie. And as you can see, the rocket is in the background on the week six loading screen. So like who put the rocket there in the first place? Because that's been there since the start of season four. Since the meteor hit Dusty Depot and it changed to Dusty Divot. So a big question is who actually put the rocket there to begin with to be launched. I definitely don't think it's part of the movie production. Maybe this all fits in with the Omen character. Maybe he's a time traveler and this has got something to do with him. Maybe he put it there. I actually don't know right now but we're getting closer and closer to finding out what's going on. The closer we get to the end of the season, the more clues are going to come out. The easier it's going to be to see what's going on. And I'm sure this is going to be one hell of a story. So as we move on to week 7 now, and this one has nothing to do with the movie at all, it's called The Visitor, from beyond the unknown to the centre of Dusty Divot. So that's basically saying he's not from this planet, he's from somewhere else. And he's been there the whole time in Dusty Divot. Each week the meteor has been getting more drilled into to open the pod, but who has been the one drilling into it to let him out? And then we don't have the week 8 loading screen yet, but it has been leaked and it shows The Visitor. So has he been sent to destroy the map? Is the Omen controlling him or is the Omen planning on stopping him? There is a new character called Fate coming out and that is a female version of the Omen character. Maybe the Omen is the bad one and Fate is going to be a character who is going to try and stop all this. So yeah, it's absolutely crazy guys. I'm sure when the week 9 loading screen comes out, that's going to just show like completely what's going on. I'm sure we're going to find out in the next week. Also down here, I think we're going to be able to launch the rocket because this has been leaked and it says launch text. So with the next update, maybe we'll be able to launch the rocket. The one that's next to Snobby Shores. And I'm sure it won't do anything to the map. I think if you launch it, only one person will be able to do it and it's just going to stay in the sky until the next week's update when it finally comes down or if it gets stopped and it doesn't end up coming down but i'm pretty sure it's gonna end up coming down and something big is gonna happen to this map everyone was saying tilty towers was gonna be the one that got destroyed it did get hit maybe it's gonna get completely destroyed after all so maybe everyone was right about that also i searched up the meaning of omen and it says a phenomenon of occurrence regarded as a sign of future happiness or disaster so that's quite interesting but yeah it's very interesting guys i would love to know what you think down below Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Have you got any ideas of what's going on? I'd love to hear it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe for all my future uploads because I'm going to be uploading a lot. So yeah, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.